What's up my friend, this is Matthew Hamill here and the reason why I'm so quiet right now is because I have a little bit of insomnia tonight and my wife is upstairs sleeping like a baby. So I don't wanna wake her up. So excuse me for being so quiet. While I was tossing and turning in bed, I couldn't help but think about something that I had learned recently from um, reading Unlimited Power by Tony Robbins. And he was talking about state and how to get into the most productive state all the time. And a lot of us, we, we find ourselves falling into this productive state or a more productive state throughout our life at different times and in different situations. My thing was, how do I consciously put myself in a productive state of mind to where I can get things done, things that I need to get done because by nature I'm freaking lazy and I'm definitely a procrastinator, that's for sure. But I, I really wanted to figure out how I could put myself into an extremely productive state. And, and one of the things that he brought out of me was it, he started asking questions of, you know, do you remember when um, you just got stuff done? You just started knocking things out. You were a superstar. You, you did something heroic. You did, you know, all kinds of things. But for me, it was the whole work ethic thing really stood out to me. And so I started thinking about when I'm the most productive. And there were three things that came to my mind immediately. The first was um, when, I was when I still had a job and I was working at a grocery store here locally and um, I used to work the opening shift, so I'd go in at 4 a.m. and I'd work until 1 p.m. And from 4 to 6, I'd be by myself. 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., I'd be by myself. And I'd have quite a bit of work to do because I'm getting ready to open up the shop for the day. And I know that there were many times, I, I thought about it, I, I flashed back, there are many times where I was extremely productive and I had to think, what the heck was I doing? And it was two things, um, actually three things. One was my focus was I've got to get this done. I have two hours. I have to get this done. So I created a sense of urgency pretty much for myself every single day. The second thing was my physiology, uh, the way I stood and the way I walked. I wasn't running, but I wasn't quite walking either. Like it, I was just walking extremely fast trying to get things done and I worked in the produce department so there was water everywhere so I'm trying to walk as fast as I can without slipping you know so that was the second thing my physiology the third thing was music it might sound cliche a lot of people use music to get themselves pumped up for whatever to do whatever a lot of times it's it's in the gym it's kind of a placebo thing so I would have a certain kind of music playing um, which normally it's not music that I listen to in my leisure but I'd have, you know, either there's some heavy metal playing or some just hip hop, just some club crazy hip hop stuff that I normally don't listen to. But it got me going and it put me in the state of mind to be extremely productive. I mean, I would knock stuff out all the time like crazy and get done early. And my manager would be like, dude, like you're done already. I mean, it was crazy. And I was putting out quality work. Um, the same thing with me at the gym. Uh, if I don't have my iPod on me, I'm pretty much lost at the gym. I have no motivation or anything like that. As soon as I put music into my ears, I get juiced, I get amped, and I'm, I'm ready to hit it, I'm ready to hit it hard. And the same thing with um, cleaning the house. I'm so not the guy to clean the house. It's just not my thing. But when I do it, I do a thorough job. I'll clean the crap out of this place. But when I do do that, I actually have to, again, use music to get me into the right state of mind of producing an excellent result and a consistent result. You know, everything I clean in the house, it's going to have the same quality consistently throughout the entire house. So one thing that I had learned was my physiology, so how I was standing, how I was approaching what I was doing, um, you know, how fast I was walking, things like that. That was a key contributing factor. The second thing was what I was focusing on. You know, I've got to get this done, whether it be I got to get the house clean, you know, before my wife gets home because I want her to be happy and I love the smile on her face when she comes home to a clean house. Or, you know, oh crap, I've got two hours to open the store. Let me hurry up and knock this out and do an amazing job while I do it. You know, so those were two main things my physiology and my focus. But like the secret sauce for me was music. And that's something that I've actually just started, I just realized it 
So as of late, now that I work from home, I go because I have to leave the house. That's one thing. If I, if I stay home and try to work, I won't get anything done. So I have to leave the house like I still have a job. So I'll just pack up my backpack and throw my laptop and my camera and all my equipment and I'm off to Starbucks, off to Coffee Bean, off to Panera, wherever you know I can catch Wi-Fi, but I need to leave the house. I noticed, okay, I could get some stuff done there. It was cool, but then when I had the aha moment of the music, I started getting way more stuff accomplished. And so I'd bring my iPod, I'd throw it on Pandora to you know one of the stations that I used to listen to at work or at the gym, and I start banging out work like crazy. And it's just this weird thing that happens that I just go into this massively productive state, and I start getting stuff done. So to kind of wrap this video, what is it that gets you motivated? Think about, um, think about times when you just got stuff done or you did something heroic or uh, you were just crazily consistent with the quality of, of workmanship that you put into whatever you were working on. But what got you into a productive state? You know, think about times where you thought to yourself, wow, I really did a good job. I mean, we all have those moments and I'm not going to sit there and lie to you. There are times where I can acknowledge, hey, I did a really good job. How did I do that? How did I produce that result? You know, start thinking of things like that and then look at the things that every single moment that you remember has in common. Look at the common elements to how you were productive at this point or at this time. And look at that, and I'm sure you're gonna find a few things that you can start using to trigger massive productivity. I'm sure there's a handful of things that you can consciously be aware of and start using right now to create more productivity for yourself or for your business than you ever thought possible. So that's kind of my late night rant tonight. Probably gonna be up, not going to sleep anytime soon. May shoot a few more videos, but um, I really wanted to share that with you because it's just something that has been so helpful and so beneficial to me. Until next time, my friend, this is Matthew Hamill and have a good night.